spot to gaze out at the sea. When I play with the gulls, I call it uh, a rail's lookout. So, do you remember what day it is today? You're still half asleep, aren't you? Did you forget? Big brother, it's your birthday. Aww. That's why grandma's been waiting for you to come back to the house. She's been waiting for a while now. It's a good thing I came to found, find you. You should probably go home and see what Grandma wants, don't you think? Hey everybody, this is Loose Popcorn here, and this is my Let's Play of The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. I just wanted to start out saying this is like my favoritest game ever, and... That right now we're starting out in Outset Island, as it was made obvious, and as you can see, we look nothing like the hero of legend in the legend. Well, we look a lot like him, but we don't have those clothes, so maybe we will get some soon. Okay, right here we have this little kid who holds a stick. Hoy, Link. Hey, is it true that if you just have a little courage and run as fast as you can, then you can jump to that rock out there? Huh? Is it? Is it? Tell me. You know what? I guess it is, because in Zelda games, you don't have a jump button, so you just kind of have to have faith in yourself and jump to rock, jump rock to rock, hoping you actually make it. Which, you know, as a kid, I always thought that was kind of an, an annoying mechanic, but... Really, I kind of got used to it, and in these types of games, I really don't care anymore. Uh, this guy, he's looking for a pig, and he just teaches you if you crouch down, solid link. Go over to this pig, you can sneak up on it, and then pick it up, or fail, whatever. Okay, so, yeah, you can pick it up, and then there's a lady way around here that you can give it to, and if you give her a few, she gives you a lot of money, but it's kind of not worth it because your wallet's really small and you'll just kind of be wasting it in the end. Um, right here, before we go to Grandma's house, well, this is Grandma's house, but before we go in Grandma's house, right here you can get something really nice that I actually didn't realize for a while, um, is if you go down into this hole, in the hole, come out here, you can go down here and... Oh my god, it's a treasure chest inside an orange ruby! Oh, that's 100 rupees, which is half of your wallet's capacity, so it's not necessarily the smartest thing to do, but, you know, it's nice to have. Okay, so, back outside the hole, going up, and if you push up on the C stick, you can go in a first-person view, which makes you go a tiny bit faster, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so, let's see, I got the hole into Grandmother's house. Whee! Aw. What? She's not in the basement. In the kitchen, cooking me dinner. You know, something I never got was how a grandma, this, this person right here, how does she climb this ladder? Like, seriously. But well, whatever. She gives us nice things, so it doesn't really matter. I've been waiting for you, Link. Hi. Link. Turn these on. Time certainly flies. I can't believe you're already old enough to wear these clothes. 
and we got the hero's clothes. I'm glad I don't have to wear those, let's just say. Don't look so disappointed, dear one. Just try them on. Today is a day to celebrate. It is a day that you become the same age as a young hero spoken in all of the legends. You only have to wear them for one day, so don't look so down. Be proud, child. One day? That's a lie. In the olden days, this was the day boys were finally considered to be men. They were taught the ways of the sword to prepare them for battle with their enemies. But we don't live in such an age anymore, any longer. Our ways are the ways of peace. Nowadays, I suppose Orca is the only one on this island who still knows anything about sword play. Hanging the family shield on the wall as decoration is another tradition that has been carried down from those days. Does all this make sense to you? I guess so. Isn't that nice, Link? These suit you perfectly. A perfect fit! Well, tonight I'm going to invite the whole town over for your birthday party, so I'd better start getting ready, shouldn't I? Your grandma's gonna make you a favorite soup for you tonight. Mmm. Mmm, indeed. That soup is the best. I just know you're looking forward to it. Now, go get your sister. Ariel. Okay, so we've been given a mission and awesome clothing that look extremely uncomfortable. Let's go. No. Yeah, I forgot what you look like without your items. Anyway, so after that long speech about tradition and family and whatnot, we just gotta go all the way back to the look at Rail's lookout over the bridge. No woods, though. Well, not yet, anyway. Oh, spoilers. It's not news. You need to go away. Okay, so. Let's go all the way over here. Almost jump off. Can't believe that that didn't happen with my luck. Seriously, I have the worst luck. Like, sometimes it's just amazing, and I'm just like, yeah, I totally have the best luck. But most of the time, it's just awful. And you're gonna hear me say that a lot. Just, oh, wow, I have the best luck ever. Or, oh, no, I have the worst luck ever. Just all the time. Anyway, here we go. Oh, it's a real little sister. Ah, hoy, big brother. Did Grandma make that outfit for you? But, wow, you look like you'd be way too hot in those clothes. I guess they're pretty neat, though. So anyway, Link, can you close your eyes and hold out your hand? Just for a second. Whoa there. I want to give you my most treasured belonging, but just for one day. Happy birthday! You got the telescope. Oh my god. This item, well, it's kind of cool just because, well, I can't really say why it's kind of cool. It's just neat, I guess. Uh, it's kind of useful in some situations. You could go whole playthroughs without using it other than this one time right now, but otherwise, it's, I guess, I don't know. You can call it whatever you want. Into the telescope. Ha! Oh, what is that? We don't have bird people in our world. Oh? Oh my god! He's flipping out. He's flipping the bird! Oh, up in the sky, not down. He really is flipping the bird. To a bird! Holding thing. You know, as a kid, I never really understood what that was. I just saw some big yellow fluffy thing. Which, I don't know if that's something I should be saying. But, who cares? Cutscene. Oh my god, these pirates have... You know, I'm gonna have to say they have pretty good aim, actually. Well, I always thought they had awful aim. I mean, they've shot like a bazillion cannonballs. But, I mean, all I can say is, wow, they hit that bird while it was moving. And, furthermore, they were, like, loading their cannonballs, like, one after another. Like, that was fast. There was no time in between those. Wait, this is so terrible. That girl fell into the forest. She needs help. Oh, forest. It's too dangerous for you to go in there without something you can use to defend yourself with. Defend? I have this trusty telescope. I don't need anything. Up oh, into my butt. Okay, so, back down the ladder. Gotta look for something. 
defendy. Screw the ladders. Okay. So. Okay, so. Okay, so. Um, we have to look for something to basically kill all the bad guys. And not just kill all the bad guys, because, well, as you'll see when we get there, there's kind of going to be a block that really, later in the game, is just like, really, that was supposed to block me, but right now, it's just like, oh, I'm cool. Oi! Boy, Link, press L right there and use A to talk to me. Try it. No! I'm not going to do that anymore. But, yeah, it's just telling you about L targeting, which I'll explain as we get into battles, but, yeah. Okay, so here we have Orca. Orca whale. Okay. Ha! Oh, what is the matter, Link? You have an urgent look about you. Has something happened? Whatever it is, from the look on your face, I suspect it's no laughing matter. What say you, Link? Ah, have you come for some serious instruction in the way of a sword? Mm, yes! Your first lesson shall be the horizontal slice. Face me and press B. Do not fear for my safety. I am ready for you. Whoa there. Oh. Wow. God, I'm so used to L-targeting. All you have to do, go up to him. B. B, 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 B. Now the vertical slice. Now we all target and press B. Oh my god. It's. Eh. Eh. Wait. I don't even know what I was doing there. This one, for some reason, as a kid, it always messed me up. You have to make sure. You have to make sure you actually are, like, moving forward when you press B. Otherwise, he'll just reject you. And that is no fun. Go up to him, do that, or you rotate your control stick into it. Either way, just hold B and let it go, and then, I like this, this is awesome. I think that's the coolest, that's like my favorite part about fighting in this game. Okay, so I'll target him, give him some space, and then just jump. And then you can backflip and sidestep, which is good for dodging in this game, but, you know, you'll, you'll do that, it just kind of happens, you know, you're just like, oh my god, I need to dodge, and then you get out of the way, and then just like, oh wow, that looked really cool, and it did, because it's super toon linky. I do not know what has happened. But I have faith in you, son. Somehow, I doubt you will misuse that sword. You may have it, Link. I give it freely. Take the blade with you. Wow, he probably couldn't say that anymore. Ah, oh, you accepted the hero sword! You know, I don't know if it ever says it like that again. That's weird, I never really bothered to read that. Use it wisely and carefully. You don't want to let the kind old man who has entrusted it to you. I'm not even going to correct myself. Since the olden days, a sword has been used to fend off evil. Its blade is infused with a desire to become strong and righteous. Be strong, Link. Yes, Orca. I will. Because you are awesome. With your cool arm tattoo thing. Anyway, now that we have our sword, and we have learned from the master, um... I'm gonna say I'm probably gonna cut this. I might be a little over the time limit, but that's okay. Next time on The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, we will be using our sword. <laughs>